Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. And today, if you haven't seen my cookie crossbow video, which I'll link there, I am currently taking Mark Rover's creative engineering class. Uh, so there are three projects in this class, and this is project number two. Now the requirements for this project are it has to be art related in some way, and it has to use electrons. Now, I didn't have much time to get this done, and unfortunately the project that I had thought of turned out to be slightly above my skill level. I needed more programming than I currently know how to do. So that project will be coming later sometime. I still want to do it. I just don't quite have the knowledge yet. It's the programming Arduinos. So last minute, I'm pulling this little simple Glowforge project together. It's going to be this picture of the Mandalorian writing a blurg. Blurg? Yeah, I think it's called a blurg. So this picture of the Mandalorian writing a blurg, I'm going to engrave it on acrylic. I'm gonna make a little box gonna hold it and I'm gonna put blue LEDs that I have left over from my Iron Man helmet project which I'll also link in the description since I mentioned it so I've got the battery holders and LEDs left over from the Iron Man project I've got scrap acrylic I've got scrap wood This is gonna be a short video, partially because it's a pretty simple project, and partially because I completely forgot to film the Glowforge doing its thing. So, I've already cut out most of the parts. You've seen the Glowforge in action before, by the way, link in description to get up to $500 off Glowforge if you use my link. Helps out the channel a lot, highly recommend it. Let's just get to assembling. So here's the engraving with the paper still on it. You can see it on the back. Uh, it's just a piece of scrap acrylic I had lying around. So now for the best part, time to peel off the plastic. I guess it's like it's like paper plastic in this case. Here's a little trick when the paper is taking forever to peel off. All you have to do is hold it, shake it, and there we go. Simple as that with Glowforge. Use the link in the description to get a big discount, up to $500 off. So it's a little hard to see at the moment, but what is cool about engravings like this in acrylic is I'm gonna build a box down here that'll be about there, and I'm gonna put the blue LEDs at the bottom. When you shine light through acrylic, it doesn't become visible in the unengraved parts, but when it hits the engraved parts, the light scatters and basically makes the image pop out. So everywhere that's engraved will be bright blue, and then the unengraved parts won't have much light at all. Designed this little box quickly in AutoCAD. I've already cut it out because, again, I forgot to record the laser. So I'm gonna make this box, just tack it together. Then I'm gonna use some Glowforge proof grade walnut veneer to put on top of this to give it a nice uh, finished look really easily. Uh, since this, this stuff is veneered, but I don't know, with the edges, it's not gonna look great. So I clean this up, tack it together, put on the veneer, wire up the LEDs, and it's basically done. This will slide right in there, probably hot glue the bottom, and then line these LEDs up along this bottom edge. I'm gonna stick this box together with some brad nails. And so I did actually mess up my dimensions a little bit in my CAD. However, that doesn't matter because I'm putting a veneer on this, so you won't be able to tell. It'll look like a flawless piece of art, even though it was whipped together last minute. So as it turns out, I actually really screwed up my dimensions here, but because I'm rushing, because I have to have this done tonight, I'm just gonna have to sand that and just cover up all my crimes with the veneer. It's not square at all, barely fits. However, once this is all covered with veneer, you won't even know it to split the wood. However, a little drop of super glue. And this just goes to show that even if you mess up on a project pretty badly, there's often a way to completely re recover. And make it look good anyway. So you can see split the wood, things don't line up, but in the end, this thing's gonna look amazing. Again, horrible fit, but I'm gonna make it look good. So not only is this a good opportunity for me to practice making things look good, it's a way that I can show y'all how I fix a project when it goes completely wrong. All right, so again, I split the wood. It's not structural. So I'm just gonna stuff some super glue in there. Super glue is a great way to just stick things back together really well. I know that's the definition of glue, but it's a great repair tool. You should always have some super glue. I usually have some super glue activator that you spray and it cures super glue instantly, but I'm currently out of that. If you want to see me mess up on other projects and fix them, subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, helps, helps me out a lot. 
and you'll get to see lots of cool things. So what I gotta do now is make a veneer for this thing that doesn't look like an ugly piece of shit. So I'm gonna take some quick measurements and go cut this out on the laser in the veneer and probably not film it again just to keep up the I forgot messed up part theme of this video. I got these pieces of veneer cut out. They're pretty nice. They got nice walnut finished, pre-finished. I just cut them out on the laser. This is from the Glowforge store. You just peel off the back, stick them on. I'm just gonna line it up with the hole and then the rest, I'll just trim to fit the rest. This stuff's really easy to put on. Just peel off the tape and it's basically a big sticker. There we go. And I'll take off the paper once I've got them all on and sized. Now, if you have a well-designed box with well-designed dimensions, unlike mine, you wouldn't have to trim this to size after the fact. However, with the theme of this video, me starting off with not being able to complete the project I initially thought of, and now having other parts messed up, I also have completely forgotten which way the grain's going on all of these, so that's not gonna line up either. However, I think I've designed this in a way even done terribly, it will still look good. Everyone will be too distracted by the cool Mandalorian engraving on top. So this thing actually looks pretty good. And there we go, we got a great looking box right there. And now I just picked the best side to be the front. That is a great looking box for what was a horrible piece of junk. Perks to Glowforge on their great veneer. So now I'm going to hot glue this in place. It's gonna look like that when it's done, and I gotta wire up the LEDs. I'm just basically, it's a little ugly in there right now, but I'm just gonna bridge straight across on the positives, bridge straight across on the negatives, and then stick this in. I need to cut off the little connector, wire this in. Uh, I think I'll just jump cut to the end of the soldering because it's not gonna be fun to watch, but I'll show you when it's done. Got my really ugly solder job. You can see the lights turn on and off when I flip the switch. Big reveal in three, two, one. So that was a fun little one day build. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. It really helps out. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, at Into the Woodshop, and check out my referral code for the Glowforge laser cutter. It'll give you a huge discount, up to $500, and you can make stuff like this, and it's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.